Today is August 13, 2012. Again, coming at you with another video. The Ultra Star Triple Three. Now, brothers, I want to talk about combat and war, okay? And before I talk about that, I want to talk about hard-headed niggas. I'll right, just give it to you raw. I'll give it to you raw in all my videos. So I ain't gonna stop now. You know, you got hard-headed niggas that like to criticize, but they ain't doing shit themselves, okay? To try to help the cause, alright? The cause is to get motherfuckers off our backs that's been riding our backs for hundreds or thousands of years, okay? But they'll rather just, you know, say, fuck it. I'm okay with getting fucked in the ass all day, every day. With a limited supply of money. Limited supply of resources. Don't own shit. You see what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Hard-headed niggas that got Stockholm Syndrome. Alright? But, criticize you when you're trying to do something, all right? I'm gonna just say fuck them kind of niggas, okay? And stay focused on doing what you do, okay? You ain't any kind of group that's pro-black, all right? And you somewhat conscious of what's going on. Everybody don't know the full truth. I don't know the full truth, okay? But if you walk to what the fuck is going on around the world and you trying to wake other people up, then hats off to you. Like I said, don't lose focus because of some, you know, niggas that got Stockholm Syndrome, okay? Or uh, some, some motherfuckers that's, you know, just, uh, you know, out snitching, you know, Judas's. And things like that. But, um, let me tell you about hard headed niggas like that, okay? And I'm not talking about anybody specifically, but I'm just saying in general. Because you got them kind of hard headed niggas out there, alright? These are the kind of niggas that the white man protect, alright? They under the white man's protection. They'll say, fuck the white man. And things like that. You know, the white man can kiss my ass or whatever. But when the shit comes to, to, to when the rubber meets the pavement, uh, they want to be under the protection of the white man. See, I lived through Katrina and I've seen this shit before, okay? Niggas fold up, alright? Niggas fold the fuck up. Under pressure. Under real goddamn pressure. Can't get no cigarettes, can't get no weed, can't get no drink. Hmm? Can't get no food. Niggas will sell late ass, okay? Cheeks spreading all just to get that. Them new weak motherfuckers I'm talking about, okay? Under the white man's protection. The say fuck the white man. If he was, up, if he was under a nigga like me, okay? His ass will get beat, point blank. Not beat out of hate, but beat out of love. I will whoop some some sense into that nigga ass, okay? To make him fucking wake up. Because that's that's what some some, some of them hard-headed niggas need. They need their asses kicked, just like the, some of the black women. Some of them bitches need their asses whooped, okay? But when you whoop their ass right now, they go run to the white man. Hmm? Go run to that white man. Want to press charges and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't even talk about the goddamn sociopaths. Lord have mercy. There ain't no room for them. Alright? All, to person, I think all sociopaths should either go be rehabilitated or either just be put to fucking death. Okay? If, if, if no rehabilitation helps, put the fucking death. 
Alright? That's almost as worse as a goddamn reptilian to me. Alright? Reptilian traits, but in a human body. Alright? Full human body. So, you know, you have a lot of us black folks that's holding us back also that don't want to fucking give up certain things or don't want to do things. Certain things. Alright? Sooner or later, them mother, they gonna have to go. They gonna have to fucking go. Alright? Get rid of the goddamn dead weight that's holding us, that's helping us be held down. Okay? We take most shit off of anybody. As a national, we take most shit off of anybody. Everybody can just come and take take a shit on us and don't nothing be said. Anybody can come and kill us, don't nothing be said. Anybody can come and rape us, don't nothing be said. It's not until we fucking stand up. Until we say fuck no, we put no with that bullshit no more. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck you can write laws about it. Any goddamn thing. We're going to go with the universal law. You do it to me, I'm going to do it to your back. Plain and simple, okay? Plain and simple. You do it to me, I'm going to do it back, right back to you. Or if I do it to you, I can expect the same thing in return. You know? I don't give a fuck where you go. That's the universal law. Universal. Do it to others as you will have them do unto you. And some people don't get that, especially a goddamn sociopath, okay? Especially them. They can do any goddamn thing to anybody. Okay? Say anything. Treat them any kind of way. But let somebody do it back to them. Let somebody do it. They, they can't handle it. Hmm? They cannot handle it whatsoever. So those are the kind of people within our family, okay, our nationality, we need to do away with. We definitely do. In order for black folks on this planet to survive, we got to eliminate certain things. I mean, we have certain illnesses in our body. We do. We definitely do. That we have to definitely have to cut off in order to, to survive. Because that's what we are. We are in survival mode, and we've been in survival mode. But the white man has been helping us survive somewhat. Okay. Somewhat. Only to his own benefit, though. He ain't doing it out of love. He ain't doing it because he can. Hell no. It's all about profit. It was black folks that built the goddamn White House. You see what I'm saying? It was black folks and Hispanics and Chinese that built this damn country from the ground up. I don't want to hear about white folks did this and didn't know that. They ran the fucking railroads and shit. The coal mines, when it came to the hard, back-breaking goddamn work, the foundation of this country was built by black folks, Native Americans, and Chinese. Plain and motherfucking simple. If you don't know your history, okay? But, you know, just like I said, just stay focused on what you're doing to help us, you care about black folks? Okay, don't you do that. And I ain't talking about caring when it profits you, when it puts some money in your goddamn pocket. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Because you ain't no different than a white man, if, if that's the case. You riding on the coattails of black folks to further your agenda. You have your own agenda behind the so-called agenda. Okay? Niggas like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Niggas like that. Primary example. Okay? See, if you don't know your history, 
it's been all it's always been niggas like me down south, okay? Not talking about it. See, I'm talking about it on video. But I ain't never actually fucking started it. Physically anyway. I'm prepping myself. And that's what you should be doing. But when it comes down to the real motherfucking shit, it's always been niggas down here from, from the south, okay? Always. Huey New. Martin Luther King. Okay, the risk go on. But it's always been niggas down south that actually get in there and strike the first motherfucking blow. Okay? So, you know, I'm basically what I'm just saying, fuck the rest of them niggas, okay? That like to criticize. Because you can't think that we all, you know, all black folks love each other. We don't. We do not. That was the case. Fuck, Malcolm X wouldn't know who got killed. You see what I'm saying? It was black folks that, that was in on that shit. You got damn right. You damn right. So you got to learn from your history. If you don't, you're doomed to repeat it. Okay? That's why I don't fuck with too many people. If I put in work, I do it on my own. Even in the Bible, Christ said, I will come as a thief in the night. What the fuck does a thief do? The thief don't want to be seen. Okay? The thief ducking and hide. The thief don't want to be seen ducking and hide and watching. Okay? That's why that's in the Bible. I will come back like a thief in the night. Meaning that you already be here and you don't even know it. But I'm not waiting on no Christ or nothing like that. If you have your personal preference, I have mine. Me, being from the South, don't shit get done for me unless I do it, okay? That's just the way it's always been. Unless I get some help or something like that, I, I can't count on that. Black folk down South, we have a different mentality. All right? When you want to get the shit done, you do it your goddamn self. You do it. Not make somebody else do it. You do it. Okay? I don't know how a lot of you brothers are up north and shit like that, but like I said, down south, we, we do it. You know? We fucking do it. Let me show you how we do it down south. You know, I, I don't believe in talking and making peace and shit like that. I don't believe in getting motherfucking work done. If, if a nigga try, not trying to hear what the fuck I'm saying, there's one thing I know he'll listen to. It's a motherfucking gun, okay? That's the only thing a nigga understands sometimes. And this bitch is down. All right. But again, niggas down south, we have a different mentality. We do. All right? All that marching and shit like that, we know that shit did work. It don't. You know? Going through the due process, that shit don't work. That's the kind of shit that'll fucking drive you insane. Alright? That shit will drive... We go through more hurdles. That's why I said we take bullshit left and right. We do. Anybody can come at us with any damn thing and throw it at us, and we fucking taking it. And don't find nothing back. We just fucking take it. Everybody ain't like that, okay? That's why they fighting across in the Middle East, because they ain't fucking laying down for, for that bullshit, okay? Now, let me give you an example. As a human being, not by the color of my skin, okay? As a human being, if I go fuck with another human being, okay, can I expect that in return? Yes. Why should it be a big surprise to me that it happens in return? If I slap somebody, I can expect them to probably slap me back or want to slap me back. I'm not going to be arrogant enough to think that. Okay? Not at all. Any part of the world you go in, besides the United States, 
you go fucking with people, you're going to get it. One way or the other. You might not get it today, that day, but you're going to get it. They're going to find back something, okay? And I'm not necessarily talking about a guy. But I'm just saying in general, they're going to be looking to get some kind of revenge or justice or avenge some, somebody's death or something like that. That's only natural, okay? It's only natural. Because if I went to another planet, okay, and the native inhabitants of that planet, if I just went to this to this na this native planet, the, the the another planet, the native inhabitants, I had this gun, okay, fired upon. Me. All right, would it be a big surprise if they fired some shit back at me? Why would it be a surprise? Okay? An action causes a fucking reaction. And some people don't get that. Especially crooked motherfucking cops. They do not fucking get it. They don't. And let me tell you what I learned during Katrina, okay? You had a lot of cops in uniforms that became crooked. Alright? The biggest fucking criminals. Thugs, alright? Not only they stole, but they killed also for no goddamn reason. Other than they had a badge. But they, it wasn't because of they was doing their job. Okay? A lot of them committed suicide also. But the rest of them was fucking scared. Because they didn't really know what was happening. All right? It was a pure meltdown. A lot of them, you know, went AWOL, said, fuck this, I'm going home to my family. Which I can't blame. And the cop that said, fuck it, and went home to his family, his family came first. I respect that. Okay? And I don't even really like cops too much, to be honest with you. I don't. You know? And I, I got a few of them in my family. I don't even like them. But the thing about it, your family come first. Okay? But on a twist to that, your black cop, your family come first also. And I ain't talking about your family and your household. Your family, black folks. Okay? Whether you fucking like it or not, black folks are still your goddamn family. But either allow them to brainwash to see that shit or until the white folks fuck them in the ass so good then they want to turn back to being black they want to say the white man ain't shit nigga you have been thinking that you have been thinking that the white man ain't shit but you know what you just kept your goddamn mouth shut because you ain't want to get fired he wanted that check oh well I'm just doing my job fuck that Ain't no human being doing their job by defending themselves. Just in general. See, a lot of us black folks, we too goddamn programmed in the head. We don't get it. We don't. And a lot of black folks, the only way they gonna get it is when they in a goddamn war zone. Okay? I'm talking about full blown out fucking war. Your ass starving. You see bodies on the goddamn ground with flies. Fly coming out the mouths and the eyes laying eggs, okay? Which turn out to be maggots. The maggots eat dead flesh. The flies lay fucking maggots, okay? Well, lay eggs, they turn to maggots and eat the dead flesh. You ain't gonna really. That's what it's gonna take. The stench of a, of a dead body. And a lot of niggas I ain't never smelled the stench of a dead body. But one day you will fucking find out, and that's soon. It will be soon. So I've been trying to tell a lot of black folks to fucking wake up. To wake up. I'm not telling you some shit I read on the internet. Fuck, I lived it! 
Katrina. I lived in first hand, trying to tell your ass what to expect. The goddamn national debt is high. They're going to have to default on it soon. All right? Very soon. And what the fuck that means, what's that going to mean to you? Hmm? Black folks, we always get the, we at the bottom of the totem pole. So who going to be the first to starve? Who going to be the first to get shot? Who's probably going to be the first to get thrown in those funeral camps? Hmm, could it be the Italians, the Italian-Americans? I don't think so. Could it be the Native Americans? Nah. Could it be the Hispanics? Whether they're here legally or not? Mm -mm. Is it going to be the white folks? No, it's going to be your black ass first. Okay? It's going to be you. If you don't prepare, it's going to be your ass. Because you know what? When CNN was showing all that shit on TV about Hurricane Katrina victims, who the fuck did you see on there? What color was their skin? The majority of them. Hmm? I don't, I'm not making this shit up. I'm not. And it ain't fear mongering. It's reality. It's reality. You need to wake up. You need to fucking wake up. Okay? Wake the fuck up if you have. But you probably won't wake up until you're in financial ruin totally. You're getting in the motherfucking soup line to get your meal. Okay? I say wake up. Don't wait till shit get bad at the last minute. Don't. You don't prepare. You're gonna suffer. That's the bottom line. White folks, white folks gonna suffer, okay? They are gonna fucking suffer. But they ain't gonna suffer as bad as us. No. No, they'll say, look. Kill all the niggas, we'll get they, they portion of the food. That's more food for us. Hmm? Kill the niggas, that's more food for us. Or better yet, kill the niggas and let's use the 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 uh the, the bodies for food for our dogs. Hmm? You think that ain't on the that that is impossible? That ain't impossible. Fuck well, no. God damn it, Hitler was making soap. Out of, out of the bodies of, of the so-called Jews, okay? We just kill them. They just find the things to do with them bodies. Okay? Hell yeah. Making fucking soap out of dead bodies. From dead bodies. Using the fat. Because that's what soap really is. A lot of it's fat. A lot of the, the makeup and shit. A lot of these black women try to be like white women and shit. These bitches going around. You know, putting the lipstick on and all this makeup. But a lot of them don't fucking know. They be putting the blubber on the, uh, from wells on their goddamn skin, okay? They, they don't get that. A lot of them probably don't even fucking care. That's why I say, the bitch, if I tell a bitch, bitch you wear the house, my balls, you shouldn't have no problems. You can wear it with fake hair, you wear the house, my balls. Hell yeah. Wear it and wear it probably, baby. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, to stay on the topic, I'm going to talk about war. Yeah. I already talked about some of it. But black folks, we never fought our own war. And that's why we in the position that we in. We'll go fight other wars for other people. We everything to other people that we should be to ourselves. Okay? But war in general 
it can be a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes war is necessary, and I'm for a war. Depending on what kind it is, I'm for a war. The war on the reptilians, and war on motherfuckers that's on our backs, okay? War against the goddamn white man. Period. Yeah, I said it. War against the white man. You've been launching wars against us for the longest. We know it fought back. Okay, nigga, here you go. Here's some A's. Okay, here's some gonorrhea. Alright, here's some herpes. Mm hmm Okay, let's, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put you in my jail cell. You get three, no, you get three strike rules. Okay, three strikes and after those, you strike out third time, your ass is mine. Hmm? You see what I'm saying? I mean, the list go on and on. On and on. And you brothers, you know, that, that's out there struggling and, and trying to survive day to day. Your woman, the straight day, you can't talk to your woman about. Okay? You try talking to some shit, talking to her about some shit like that. She ain't gonna really understand too much. She might t t t pretend to understand, but she won't really fucking understand. Alright? But the bottom line is this. War has been launched on us a long time ago. Some of the greatest atrocities that's been happening throughout history happen against us. So why not fucking go to war with motherfuckers that went to war with us for a long, a long time ago? Okay? Only thing is you're fighting back. You increase your chances of fucking survival when you fight back. Regardless of how, how you fight back. Whether it's was on paper or by a goddamn gun. Ain't nothing wrong with fucking fighting back when somebody bringing a fight to you. That's the fucked up mentality of what we have. When people probably watching this video say he's a field monger and he's a racist. And he's, you know, uh, 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 whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is this. You fucking hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Bitch, don't cry when I hit you back. Don't cry when I hit you back, bitch. That's the bottom line. We ain't here in America. We so fucking spoiled. We can go bomb and kill other people. When they fight back, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's such a, a tragedy. Stay the fuck from over there. Stay the fuck out of the Middle East and stop fucking with people. Then you probably, the more likely they ain't gonna fuck with you. You know, generally, see, just go all the way back, okay? Hundreds of thousands of years ago, with Inky. The black motherfucking geneticists, okay? No that tissue you white folks off, I don't give a fuck. I'm glad he's black. Alright? A black fucking geneticist by the name of Inky. Inky was not white, and I keep telling y'all bastards that. Created us after his own motherfucking image. His own DNA. The Anunnaki were the black. Alright? Black motherfuckers, alright? Black, I know you can't stand it here, but it's the truth. It's the goddamn truth. Because if they were white, we would be white. You motherfuckers would have more power than what you got right now. We wouldn't dare stand a chance. Y'all would fucking decimate us, period. Y'all walk around the earth right now like y'all shit. Want to boss and room every goddamn thing. The financial markets and everything. But definitely, y'all, we wouldn't, we wouldn't stand a chance, period. Plus, y'all would have been the majority on the earth, but we are the motherfucking majority. Motherfuckers that's got this skin like me, that's got melanin in their skin. So, again, who created black folks? It was a black man that created him in his own image. After his own likeness. Okay? But like I said, goes back... Hundreds of thousands years, uh, years ago with the geneticists of Inky. Let me tell you a little bit about Inky, okay? 
Inky was pro-life. Okay? Inky didn't like didn't like killing. Inky was good. He had some flaws. But he the overall his, his personality, his character was good. Alright? And that's what he wanted to make men or men good. Okay? And not be corrupt like his motherfucking sociopathic brother in Lil, okay? Pure fucking sociopath. Alright? But anyway, human beings, black folks, we generally are good people. We are. Because if we was, if we was anything like white folks, y'all wouldn't know st stood a chance, okay? But we believed in getting along with everybody, trying to get along with everybody in the earth. Okay? Black folks are generally good. The worst black folks you'll find is the ones right here in America. And how do they get that way? Through the white man, the corrupt fucking system, okay? Black men will not be dealing no goddamn dope and killing the way you do if it wasn't for white folks. If it wasn't for this system in, in place. Okay, we got the highest incarceration, the highest HIV, AIDS rates, all of that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, that war that's been launched against us. You know? And being good causes you to finish last, okay? Being a good person, a good, a good Samaritan. It was a Samaritan that wrote the, the text about Inky and stuff like that. Being, being a good Samaritan has a significant meaning. Alright? But generally, black folks are good. It's not until you get a corrupt ass dictator that spoil and fuck up a whole generation that causes them to lose faith in a system that they once believed in. So they go to all other alternatives, okay? That's not what Inky wanted. That's why Inky wrote, told us the truth. He wasn't talking to you white folks, he was talking about black folks. Told us the truth about what the fuck was going on? Alright? Because he knew that history could be rewritten and it has been rewritten. He knew he had a sociopathic brother by the name of Enlil that wanted to enslave us, that wanted to, that, that did try to kill us, wipe us out at one time. That was before the flood. As a matter of fact, it was Enlil that portrays God in the Bible, okay? Tell Abraham, I want you to kill your son. Show me how faithful you'll be to me. Pay me my tithes. Give me my offerings. You see what I'm saying? The Jews were Elenil's people, all right? Technically us, yes. I don't want no part of that. Fuck that. No. And Leo, you keep that. I'm on the side of ink. Fuck that shit, okay? Fuck it. Because you, when you look at it, and no offense to you, a lot of you brothers, but you know there's some shit wrong, okay? With the doctor and, the, and what, we will, what we will brought up. See, I learned all this shit a long time ago. I grew up in the church. Okay? It didn't take me long to find out that the, the Bible, the people, the preacher pre preaching out of the Bible got kids out of wedlock, got his whole sitting in, in, on the front seat of the church, and sleeping around with other women at your church. Hmm? There's a lot of corruption there. Every church I went to, there's some kind of corruption. There's some kind of gossip. And there's some, some holes in there giving that pussy up. 
okay? To any nigga that look like he got some money. Hmm? I know all about that. So I figured that shit, hey, there's something wrong. Black folks, we've been praying to the same God and having our faith given every fucking thing that we've given. We're giving this God more shit than we're giving the white man. Hmm? We're not getting any better. We're not. We are not getting any fucking better. Like I said, praise the Negro. Fuck all these other gods. That's why Enki gave us the information that he did in the Sumerian text. Or the lost book of Enki. Okay? To let you know a lot of shit that was told to you is bullshit. This is the real deal. This is what really happened. Because we have this servitude mentality. Oh, I'm a God-fearing person. I'm going to serve God. Fuck that. If God is as powerful as he says, is, non-human, he can sustain himself. You don't need nothing from me. If anything, you should be doing something for me to help me. And it don't, shouldn't require no goddamn faith, okay? No. No, because everybody don't have faith. That's a genetic thing. All right? Imagination, yes. But faith, no. No, not at all. As much faith as black folks all together combined has had in this so-called God in the Bible. We should be lifted up out of this, this, this hellhole. But we're not. We're not. It ain't going to happen until we make it happen. How do we make it happen? It's certainly ain't about putting your faith and trust in any God. It's about educating your people and being prepared and willing to kill those who are trying to kill you. Anything that anybody do to you, you do it in return. Plain and simple. You treat me good, I'm going to treat you good. You give me some fruit, I'm going to give you some fruit. You give me bullshit, I'm going to give you bullshit. You try to snipe on me, I will snipe your ass. You see what I'm saying? Majority of the people, like I said, in the world, they pretty fucking good. But they just been hardened up through the, the, the course of time, throughout the course of time. Okay? Even the Anunnaki were a uh, homeboy at one time. Okay, when you read the Sumerian text, you notice that they were fucking humble when they first, when they first got here. But after a period of time, they started turning against one another. And Leo sociopathic ass, before we came into the picture, the Anunnaki were put into slavery. Okay? Yeah, black folks put other black folks into slavery, and it was fucking banned on the planet of Nero. Feel it, man. It's like, fuck it. Ain't nobody else watching. We're going to enslave these niggas. In the legal. Okay? In the legal. Let me tell you this, the trait of a sociopath. Sociopaths want to rule over you. And some of y'all probably say, oh, you, you, I'm a sociopath. No, I ain't no fucking sociopath. Because if I was, I wouldn't keep it real like I always do. And I wouldn't be talking about no sociopaths because I know I'd be one of myself. But see, the thing about a sociopath, they want to control, they want to rule, okay? And they're always keeping up some goddamn mess. They always, they can't get along with nobody, all right? For long periods of time anyway. With a sociopath, th those are some of the traits. And Lil was a sociopath, all right? Inky knew it. Inky knew he always had to protect humanity from sociopaths. Sociopathic brother, all right? Which you couldn't just fucking knock off like that because that's his half-brother, all right? And he would have had to answer to daddy. And that wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been a good thing. But Lil knew he could be, a, be who he really was. 
and not really feel the ramifications that came behind it. Why? Because dad was on the throne. Dad was powerful and almighty on the planet. Okay? Married to mom, so he had the, the privileges. Whereas Inky, Inky was kind of like the child cast off. You know? He knew who dad was. Dad, he benefited from dad being on the throne, but mom and dad wasn't together. So if a new Inky's dad showed him favor one more than the other, then there was going to be complaints. Okay? But anyway, dealing with sociopaths is not an easy thing. Some, if, if you don't know what the fuck to look for, you won't really recognize a sociopath unless you really close to them. Alright? There's sociopaths in pretty much every nationality. We just got more of them here in America. That's why we in a fix that we in. No matter if black or white or Hispanic or whatever. They come in different shades here in America. And they are fucking ruthless, okay? Cutthroat. Let me tell you about sociopaths. A, co a sociopath will cut your goddamn throat, okay? And you won't recognize that your throat been cut until you get home and see the blood, okay? That's a goddamn sociopath, alright? That's why we have the problems, a lot of the problems we have today because of sociopaths. Not necessarily psychopaths, but sociopaths, okay? A sociopath is worse than a goddamn psychopath. Psychopaths, you can point out just like that. You you know it. You can look at that motherfucker and tell you psychopaths like the hate. With a sociopath, it's cloaked. It is cloaked, okay? A sociopath, you're dealing with a sociopath in a relationship, a lot of you brothers, let me tell you a sociopathic female. You sleeping in bed, okay? Y'all had an argument, you sleeping in bed. You argue with the bitch, you go to bed with her, okay? I ain't talking about sex. You just lay down and you go to sleep. This bitch play like she sleep, okay? You get you get a rude awakening with a damn pot upside your head. That bitch busts you upside the head with a pot. Run in the bathroom so you can't get her ass, okay? Get on her cell phone and call the cops and say, and lie and say that you tr end up trying to kill her. And that you hit her, huh? And your black ass go to jail. That's the sociopathic female, all right? But just the sociopath, that's how they fucking operate, all right? That's why I say within the black community, we got to get rid of sociopaths. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of them are in church. Yes, a lot of pastors are sociopaths. A lot of pastors, a lot of them. Go ask the pastor to give you a thousand dollars. He's gonna look at you crazy. Or what he can he get in return? All right? See, it's kind of crazy. It ain't crazy. Nah. He a man of the Lord, right? What's wrong with giving? That same thousand dollars that you asked him for, somebody that gave it to his ass. So why couldn't he give it to you? Hmm? Sociopath. Riding on the coattails of others. Because they have to. Because they, they can't fucking hold shit together themselves. They like parasites. Alright? Get rid of sociopaths. Plain and simple. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I had a, a half-brother that was sociopath. I haven't spoke to in years. And the reason why that nigga's still alive is because he and my half-brother. Other than that, I would have knocked his ass off, okay? He would have been knocked off. He would have been stinking somewhere. But like I said, sociopaths are almost worse than reptilians. Because they're humans. And they cloak with all kinds of, uh, of, of bullshit, all kinds of shit hidden inside them. Shit that you, that's inhuman. 
okay? But they pull a lot of shit off so well. You got a lot of sociopaths in politics, okay? A lot of them. See? If we got rid of all the sociopaths, all the shit that's, that's holding us down, including the goddamn reptilians, and establish that new world order, which I'm for a new, a new world order. Yes, I am. Not the way the motherfucking white man say no. Because his ass ain't a part of that new world order. All right? It's always been a black man. Black man, we strongest fucking people on the face of this earth. We don't need no goddamn body. Everybody need us. Including the Anunnaki. They fucking needed us. All right? We the fucking strongest. We are the best. Period. We are. Any motherfucking historian cannot argue that fact. That, that true fact. All right? It's niggas that make this earth what it is. It is. Plain and simple. But like I was saying, you get rid of all the goddamn sociopaths, we establish a new fucking kingdom. Okay? One ruler. Who will rule? A sociopath? Fuck no, because then we'll, we will put up a take a vote on who will be the next leader. One leader. Okay? So who? Anybody that wants to, but you have to go through a test, okay? A clear, simple test. Well, not that simple. But it's to rule out all the shit that corrupts societies. Instead of bribery and campaigning and all that shit, nigga, you want to rule? Your ass going to the cotton field. Yeah. You go to the cotton field. That's the first stage. You go to the cotton field, you go to the sugar cane field, and you work up from sun up, from sun up to sun down. Hard goddamn labor work. No machinery. You get some fucking gloves, a hat, a pair of boots, some uh, overalls, you go to the goddamn cotton field. I ain't the And that's to humble you. That's to keep you humble. Okay? We need to really have something like that this, to this very day, right now, okay? Because that literally a lot of those fucking sociopaths and motherfuckers that don't need to be in there, okay? Hard labor work, okay? Which will represent what our ancestors did, and you'll remember where the fuck you came from, the struggle to get to the point to how did that kingdom, that paradise on earth, that the Bible talks about, okay? A new heaven and a new earth. It will happen one way or the other, but it ain't gonna happen with the goddamn white man. It's gonna be with the nigga on him, okay? The nigga on this earth. But the bottom line is, you go to the cotton field, you work your ass off for 10 days. 10 fucking days. No contact with the outside world, nothing. Medical support, all of that. No pussy, no alcohol, no cigarettes. Our ancestors did it. You remember where you come from. Number two, torture, okay? Yes, you gotta go through torture. Waterboarding, okay? You get several beatings. In a prison, you go to, you, as a matter of fact, yeah, you go to prison, okay? You go to prison, you get tortured, you get beaten. But you, the beatings won't be breaking the skin and breaking bones. Just remind you of the shit that we got, that we went through to get here, okay? The slaves, okay? Number three. Number three would be interrogation. Will your black ass crack under pressure? Okay? 
if you got taken hostage? Will you reveal codes? Will you reveal secrets? That kind of stuff. All right? You go to you go to print, you go work out in the cane field for 10 days. You go to jail for 10 days. You go to a prison. And you get interrogated for 10 days. Okay? And that may come with beatings also. It just depends. Alright? And it teaches you don't dish out no fucking punishment that you can't handle yourself. Which with a lot of motherfucking rulers throughout history. They can dish out the goddamn punishment, but they can't handle it themselves. You see what I'm saying? Like I just like I was just saying, do unto others as you will have them do unto you. Alright? So if the world is going to be in the hands, basically, of one man. One man going to be ruling the goddamn world. His ass going to have to go through some shit. Okay? He going to fucking work for it. He will have to work for it. Not by getting by because of who he know, what he know, how he know it, his charm, good looks, all that bullshit ain't going to matter. Because pretty much the fate of the world be in his goddamn hands. So if he can get beat, he can get tortured, and he can work as a damn peasant, and still rule, that's a good leader. Yeah, that's a good leader. I mean, he, 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 when he's sitting on the goddamn throne, he's going to remember how he got there. All right? He's going to forget where the fuck he came from for those 40 days, or 30 days, all right? And that's what we need. Black folks, we need to humble ourselves. The only way we humble ourselves is we under the rulership of somebody else. But this new goddamn ruler in the new kingdom, he gonna have to go through what the fuck we going through today. Because he got to remember the struggle, where we came from. Not just be handed to him because he look good, he talk good, he smells good, his hair looks good, he has lots of connections. That don't mean a goddamn thing. Because that's the kind of shit that, that put us in chains again. This nigga's gonna be humble. Alright? He's gonna be humble. And he will show acts of humble by when he get on the throne, he's gonna do shit for people. Okay? He will do shit for people. Whatever the fuck you ask for, that's going to be the black Santa Claus. Whatever the fuck you ask for, this nigga going to do it. He better. Okay? See what? A, a king. True purpose is to serve his people, not fucking people serve him. Alright? It's to serve. Public service. You serve the people. Not on paper. You do it for real. Okay, you get your black ass up and you go hear their problems. You go find out what's wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's a true king. He give his life to serve his people. You ask some of these goddamn politicians around here, they'll be out the race so quick. But like I said, the new ruler will endure the torture, the pain, the hard labor. Okay? Might even die trying. But in that new kingdom, we'll have to have something like that. Put that shit to a vote by all black folks. What kind of leader, what kind of ruler you want? Okay? And that's something you should think about. That's something you should think about. Really, really think about. But anyway, in combat and in the war, you have to be smart. All right? We in good times right now, believe it or not. We don't have to go and knock somebody off for, for a loaf of bread or anything like that. But you need to prepare yourself for rough times. See, we seem like the year done went fast already. We're in the eighth month 
And you go back to my video, you know, I, you know I've been making videos since last year. So it's like October last year, okay? But time passed so fast. And I don't think nobody should take December 21st, 2012 very lightly. Not at all. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's a deadline. A deadline for what? I don't know. Entirely. But there's a lot of shit that's about to about to go down. Okay, something might happen December 21st, 2012. Something might not. Something might happen before then. I don't know. But what I do know is we got this big ass sinkhole down here in Louisiana. Okay? Salt dome, as they say. To me, they ain't done so much fucking drilling here in the Gulf. They done fucked everything up. White folks. White folks, yes, you bastards fucked it up. It ain't black folks. You motherfuckers fucked it up. Okay? But you wanna look at black folks like they ain't shit. Throughout the whole history of time, black folks ain't never fucked up the planet like that. Because we always cared about the goddamn planet. It's the only we live on it. You don't fuck up your household. And this here's our household. Okay? You might not agree with me, but it is. History tells us that. And you see it now. Okay? But this salt dome, I'm real concerned about. Alright? Because it's the beginning of something. It could be the beginning of this whole goddamn state plunging into the Gulf of Mexico. Or half of it anyway. It wouldn't bother me if it did, to be honest with you. It really would, because, I mean, everything else didn't happen down here. So whatever, whatever happens next, if I adapt to it, I'm okay with it, as long as I'm able to adapt. All right? That's why I'm trying to wake a lot of the black folks up to, to a lot of shit that's going on. Ain't no such thing as, okay, help me. I see now. No. No, you see the shit coming. When you put in your own mind, oh, it's going to get better. All right? But anyway, be prepared and do the things that you need to do to prepare for any kind of situation. Financial collapse, anything. There's been all kinds of storms on the East Coast and stuff like that. That has a lot to do with the planet shifting. All right? All of this other shit, a lot of it is related also. You know, with sinkholes and things like that. But, um, I hope you brothers really, really prepare and go out and train with any kind of weapon you have. Let me tell you a good weapon. Okay? The SKS. Why do I say that? The SKS is better than AK-47. I'm going to tell you why. Use the same bullet as the AK-47. And it reach out further in distance than AK-47. AK-47 has a 16-inch barrel. SKS minimal 20, 20 inch barrel, okay? 21 inch. But anyway, the longer the barrel, the more that bullet comes, the faster that bullet comes out, okay? Or the more range it gets. 762 by 39 is what he used, okay? Which is superior than the 5.56, all right? Or 223, which, which is what they use in the M16. All right. There was a lot of soldiers complaining about that shit when the war first started in the Middle East, okay? Like in 03, 02, 03. He was talking about, oh, we shooting them, but they not dropping fast enough. No shit. You get a motherfucking 762 by 39, which was designed to drop a 200-pound man. All right? Not necessarily kill him, but drop him. 
that you put somebody holding a goddamn weapon and you hitting them, you hit them one time with a bullet, that don't mean they're going to drop. That's for the movies. Uh, -uh. that ain't how it works in the real world. I done seen niggas get popped, okay? And they just don't fall like that, unless it's a headshot. But, uh, depending on what you do, they ain't going to drop. It means they don't drop them. They still got the gun in your hand, they can pop you, okay? Niggas go way out. Talk about, oh, AK-47, it's, it's a good, it's a good weapon. But when you fire that motherfucker, the damn barrel flex, okay? It flexes, which is kind of, kind of fucks up things with the bullets coming out the barrel. SKS is fucking heavy and it's just as durable as the AK-47. AK-47 is cheap to make, all right? That's why they dropped the SKS. The SKS came before the AK-47. Say, fuck it, we're going to go with something cheaper and lighter. AK-47, okay? AK-47, but the SKS is heavier, it don't have much kick, all right? Don't really kick like a mule. And that's a good thing, all right? Gives you more accuracy and stuff like that. But you brothers need to, whatever weapon you decide to get, train with the motherfucking weapon. And let it be all right. I don't know goddamn handgun or a submachine gun. Fuck a Uzi Mac 10, all of that shit. Because when it comes to range, you're going to need something. You're going to need some shit that's going to punch through some goddamn metal and some concrete. All right? When you go and look at, I don't know, a lot of you brothers, you know, were old enough to remember that shit that went down in like 97. I wonder, uh, in, in, in L.A. with the two gunmen, all right, uh, one of them, was, name was uh, Emil uh, Monserrano or some shit like that, okay? And, I mean, total destruction, all right, of what two AKs can do, all right? That can keep motherfuckers at bay if they ain't got no goddamn rifle. You don't go up against nobody with a pistol when they got a rifle. Alright? And the cops learn that shit uh, uh, the hard way. That's why I say you brothers get a rifle. And I wouldn't necessarily say 2.3 or 5.56. Go with something a little heavier. Okay? Maybe a 762 by 39 or 762 by 5.4 or something like that. Or 3030 or 3006. Some shit that's going to punch through some shit to reach whatever target you're trying to get. Because a pistol and a, and a submachine gun ain't going to punch through no fucking wall or no cars or, or, or any kind of building or whatever. Like talking about it. Get, you get that goddamn rifle. But anyway, I'm pressed for time. And I'm going to go ahead and end, end this video. You brothers take care. Be smart. Be safe. I wish I could have made it a little longer. But I think this is suitable for now. Prepare, prepare, prepare. And until next time, I end this video.